All right, how's it going, YouTube? I'm back again. This is Charles. Uh, this time I am showing what I believe is an Austrian small infantry backpack. However, I am not quite sure. So if you have more information about this backpack, please let me know. I've searched all over the internet and I cannot find out what the heck this thing is exactly. Now there is a very faded stamp inside the pack, which I can show you. I still can't make it out. I'm old. I've, my eyesight's going. But let's take a look at this pack real quick. So you see here, it's got these straps. These came with it. This is how I bought it off of eBay. So I don't even know if these are original straps. Take a look. So you can see the camouflage which is similar to many of the 1941 Austrian bread bags that I've seen out there. There is no black pigment in the camouflage itself. There is black pigment on the straps, but there is none in the camouflage pattern. Okay, let's take a closer look here. So as you can see, got this strap it's got some extra room I have no idea what you're gonna be able to put on this I'm guessing you could put a blanket roll or a jacket in here with this extra strapping up on the top now if you take a look on the sides they have these attachment straps on this side we also have a green which I have no idea what you're gonna put here possibly a canteen once again, I'm asking for your help to figure out what this is exactly. Um, here's the bottom. So this old backpack has some repairs. This is the condition that I got it in. Um, see how these straps are built in. Now I can open these up. Let's take a measurement real quick. So. We are looking at about 11 inches wide by approximately 16 inches tall and yeah, about 5 inches deep. Now I've stuffed this with some packing material so maybe it's inflated the uh, dimensions of this a bit. Let's take a look inside of here. Got these nice leather straps. See here, so this is just tied with a very simple, heavy duty, like a sisal rope or string. There's my packing materials. Now, inside, you can see there is a little pocket. I don't know if this is for a radio just for personal items. I mean, if I was gonna take this on a day hike, I'd probably put uh, like a water bladder or something inside of there. But that's just me. Uh, it's got a nice leather strap along with a buckle to go attach this and secure that area. And then you've got the pocket. So, what I'm thinking is this is the infantry's small Austrian backpack. Once again, I am not sure. Now there is some very faint print right here. And all I can really read is, looks like Josef Ambros. And then I cannot read the rest of the writing on here. So take a look at the construction. If you can help me out with any feedback on the video for exactly what this is, that'd be greatly appreciated. I have not found anything that tells me what this could be. Now, if you wait one second, I will bring out a 1962 bread bag 
and show you how I believe it attaches to this pack. Now this is the 1962 Austrian bread bag. So you see the pattern is essentially the same as on the pack. Main difference would be instead of the dark brown, we have black pigment on here. Now this one I know is 1962 because I can clearly read the stamp on here. Oh, excuse me, 1961. You see the construction is very similar to the other one. This also has the strap. Got some nice little pockets here to secure. That's on each side. Got some attachment straps, which I am assuming is for a mess kit. That's my guess. You can also secure this compartment using these straps. Inside I have more packing material. There is a separate little pocket and then a larger pocket on the inside. Now if we take a look on the back here, I've got two sets of hooks. So the way I believe that this was meant to go hooking onto these little rings and so now I have the bread bag or fanny pack attached to the bottom of the small pack and in theory I can carry this on a day hike or into battle with your feedback, maybe I can figure out how this actually goes together and what I have here. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much.